All right, I'm going to talk a little bit about John Jones testing positive for estrogen blockers, supposedly. Um, guessing maybe ADEX, Rimadex, or Romacin, Exemestane, uh, kind of different names for the drugs. But um, those are two most common uh, estrogen blockers, reducers. I doubt if he was taking any more powerful, maybe letrozole or something, but that like destroys all your estrogen, but it does increase test levels. All these drugs are going to, will increase test levels. Uh, 10 to 20 percent maybe so uh, I don't think really you get a whole lot of uh, boost in performance from those uh, but uh, but you know it's hard to uh, tell what these guys are thinking I mean maybe it was a tainted subject I don't know because he's got some pretty bad advisors they're telling him to take estrogen blockers for any kind of performance gain you're really not going to get one um, you know one thing it's going to have is you're going to form the drug test so uh, it's kind of interesting. Um, goes back to knowing what you put in your body when you're at that level. I mean, this guy's scrutinized for the things that he's done in the past. So, uh, you know, estrogen blockers are mainly used uh, to on on cycle, basically when you're taking testosterone or you're taking other drugs that aromatize, other steroids that aromatize. Uh, and create your body wants to uh, go back to stasis it wants to equalize so when it detects more testosterone it also wants to increase the estrogen what these drugs typically do at least for the bodybuilder they're actually female drugs designed for breast cancer uh, issues but bodybuilders of course decided that uh, you know found out about them blocking estrogen etc cetera, etc cetera. so it's, it's good to protect your keep your estrogen low uh, keep sides low but uh, they're mainly used to to reduce estrogen uh, by by men anyway est estrogen while on cycle because otherwise your estrogen will get out of hand and uh, you'll develop side effects high blood pressure uh, bitch tits gynecomastia uh, which is growth of breast hormone um, or breast uh, tissue uh, from too much estrogen uh, so I'm not really sure why we take them for performance enhancing if though in, if indeed those are the drugs that he took uh, you know that sometimes are used post cycle therapy uh, Aromacin more so than ADEX. I mean, bodybuilders generally now do not take them for post cycle. So uh, if he was taking them maybe after a cycle, short cycle of test, he's getting some bad advice. But um, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, I don't know. I guess if you're taking that shit, you got to pay the price. But uh, regardless, uh, if he was taking them. Uh, he knew what he was taking them because you're not going to buy them. You're not going to buy those drugs uh, off the counter at GNC or any place like that. So, one, one he was recovering from a, maybe a small test cycle, uh, or two, he was maybe trying to get a boost, uh, a boost of test maybe 10 to 20 percent, maybe if that, uh, you know, or. Three, he was uh, taking them uh, during a cycle to keep keep uh, estrogen sides down, uh, but then he would probably test high for uh, or positive for high testosterone levels. So, it, it maybe this is all just speculation on my part, but generally, you don't take these drugs alone. Some guys do. I mean, I've heard of it just doing an ADEX cycle and a Rolison cycle. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not unheard of, but it's just not that common. And he was doing it to recover post cycle after a cycle. He's doing it wrong. Most bodybuilders don't do that anymore. So, uh, anyway, anyway, it'll be interesting to find out what really happened.